Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Jurassic World The Game. Oh, I know it didn't come out on Monday, did it? Oh, wow, yeah. Also, apologies. Hair, again, has still not been cut. I look like a lion or something. Wow. <laughs> but uh, I didn't do uh, Monday's episode because that was, well, it, it was supposed to be this episode. But... Primal Carnage sort of things went awry and things had to be pushed back. So Primal Carnage came out on Monday. So I do apologize. Um, we've got a lot to talk about in this episode. A lot of good things too. Um, and also I just kind of wanted to... Because uh, I always use these Jurassic World the Game videos to rant. You know me. I like to talk. <laughs> Much to your dismay. <laughs> um, and we'll talk about... Uh, I want to talk about something with YouTube as well. Uh, and something I see a lot, and I made a tweet actually the other day about it. Um, so, but before we get into that, we have an update for Jurassic World the game. Uh, actually, hold on, before we do even do that, we have an update for what do we call it? Uh, Jurassic World Live, look at that! You can spend £100 on mods, boosts, whatever you want to call them. This is why I don't cover Jurassic World Alive anymore! This is ridiculous. It's amazing the, the different types of hairstyles I can pull off. You do play Jurassic World Live like I do and Jurassic World the game. Go on the link in the description below. Collect your 50 bucks as well as in this game you can get, I think it's 100 bucks. It might be 50. But you also, not only do you get books, you get VIP points and you get DNA. Uh, I don't think, I'm, I think this that might be the last code for Jurassic World Alive. Uh, unless Ludio wants to send me any more, which I can still put in these videos. I, I don't know, it's gonna be a while till I come back to Jurassic World Alive until they update it anyway. Like I said, that's the reason why I don't cover Jurassic World Alive anymore. Because it is co completely paid to win. For instance, in this game, you might get a card pack. Or you might get an offer for a card pack. And it might cost, what, well, I don't know, a hundred pound to be like, oh, spend a hundred quid. I mean, we, we can just go into the market. I mean, here it is. We don't do it though, do we? Because we don't need to, because it's a laugh, it's a joke. Like, why would any, anybody, why would anybody with sense, apart from me, of course, uh, spend a hundred pound on a card pack? They wouldn't, just wouldn't do it. However, uh, because not only is the stuff you get in there not really that great, a thousand bucks, I guess, uh, well, 5,000 DNA, 2,000 bucks, and a, a, a hybrid, possibly even an Indoraptor, I guess. But there's no point even having Indoraptor now because you got everyone saving for Indo Indogen 2, I would assume. So nobody does it. Nobody buys the card packs. However, in Jurassic World Alive, it is a completely paid to win system now. There's no hiding it anymore. Jurassic World Alive, even though it's fun in certain things that you do, the battling is 100% paid to win. You want dinosaurs to level up. Pay to win, buy incubators, spend real money, buy books. You want better boosts on your creatures, just buy them outright. Just give them your money. Not even this like middleman with the in-game currency be like, oh, well, you can kind of give, you know. It's like you're buy you know, it's like how we, we, you know, you eat meat. You don't think, oh, I have cow. You say, I have beef. It's like disassociation. You don't think about it that way. It's like, oh, if you want a cow, kill that cow. You're like, whoa, I won't do that. It's the same way with books. It was like, well, I'll give you money to give me books. And then I don't think about spending books as in real money. Like when you go to a casino, you have all these chips and you don't see it as hundreds of pounds. You see it as chips and you're like, ah, whatever. That's what in-game currency in video games has been doing. Um, and it's, it, it just got, I mean, it, it just would live pay to win. That's why I don't cover it anymore. And I'm sick of it, basically. Sorry, Ludia, but... If you want me to cover Jurassic World Alive, I think as a developer, you should be willing to do those trades and those or payments. You should be, it should be something that you think as an individual, not as a company and go, yeah, I'd do that. Hundred pound? I've just got that lying around. There you go. Have some boosts. No, not how it works though, is it? <laughs> People think, wow, this is, look, look what it's done to Beaver. Look at him. He's a state. <laughs> so anyway, onto this game and a new thing that we've got to show uh, is this, the VIP uh, instant creation building. I've never once used it. Um, I was I was hoping it was the instant hatching thing. It ain't. Um, so now what we need to do is find a dinosaur that we want to hybridize with something else. Um, I and mean, we could make a level 30 interrupter. That might take ages, but I'm okay. Uh, and actually, is it hybridized or it's not a creation, it's a hybridization. So is there anything that I can think of in our dinosaur roster that we might want to fuse and get towards a better creature? 
like a hybrid or um probably like a hybrid would be really good because they take ages i think and it's multiple tries as well tell you what what i'll do is i'll go into battles oh it's seven minutes i was gonna say i went on this the other day i'm oh, sorry yesterday not yesterday i went over before i started recording i opened this game and it was like collect your fidelity bonus i was like wait what i thought i cancelled that so i collected my fidelity bonus and then it was like 17 hours to do this that's not. It shouldn't be. So I don't know what happened. I got two and three books out of a glitch, I think, because it did collect it. And I don't have fidelity, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, <laughs> and we're about to clock over to uh, a state of stockholders and a rarity rumble. So that's not too bad. I don't I don't really care about Monsters of the Deep. I've already used my best creatures for that. And Canada Day is staying. We'll definitely do Canada Day. And the book one is never worth it because you get what? 30, 30, 30. You get, what, 120 bucks at max. Um, we do, however, only have six minutes to get this, which is a bit of a shame. But it was aquatic, so I couldn't do it. Um, what was I saying? I'm so sorry, guys. I, I, I've been compl- Oh, yes, that's right. I was going to talk about creatures that I needed to hybridize. So let's have a look. There definitely was some things. Um, and I think it might have been a herbivore. I think. Oh, Pritrodon! Yes! Finally, we can just- we can just go through Pytrodons because I've got so much. So many of them, I should say. Yeah, look, we got level 30 and then we got four level 10. So that's a level 40. May as well. I still use Pytrodons in the tournament. I guess I'll just use something else this time. But yeah, sure, why not? Evolve. So we can go for the uh, regular or regular or we can go for the instant fuse. So let's go for instant fuse because we've never done this before. Uh, uh, 280 bucks, and... It didn't, sorry, 280 DNA. Didn't cost me anything, and there you go. A level 20 Pritrodon. Oh, look, he's so cute. No, and that's not the best we've got to, uh, talk about today. The best thing in Jurassic World, the game. No, it has taken five years, maybe even six years. Let's say, they say six years for dramatic effect. Six years it has taken. Oh, hold on. We'll, we'll do this first. It has taken six years in order for this to happen. So, um, now, every well, what's the first dinosaur you think of when you think of Jurassic Park? Yeah, T-Rex, Velociraptor, something like that. The nice uh, carnivore that left a, left a, you know, a, a mark like Dilophosaurus. Uh, oh, you didn't even give me a chance to click that, you bugger, you. Yeah? It was like, bam, gone. Okay, cheers. Thanks, game, for glitching. First dinosaur that you ever see in Jurassic Park is, of course, the Brachiosaur, the humble Brachiosaur, the giant sauropod. And it is coming to Jurassic World, the game. Uh, I will throw up an image right now. I, ho I hope I did. Did I? Well, you'll find out. Anyway, this image, which shows uh, a, some, a tournament creature coming. A tournament creature. Oh, we got another one. Oh, we don't. Okay. A tournament creature coming soon this weekend, actually. Um, and it has a big footstep and has the Jeep Wrangler and it has Alan Grant's glasses, which he takes off to see the Brachiosaur for the first time. So I am pretty sure it's going to be a Brachiosaurus. And it's, it's, it's a legendary, or at least a tournament creature, sorry. So it's probably going to get a hybrid. Um, or maybe it's a VIP? I don't know. We've had it. Well, one of the things in the VIP thing... Uh, was a tournament and it was for a VIP creature. So maybe it's VIP, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure it's going to be a tournament. Which means that it's probably going to get a hybrid. And you know what? Brachiosaurus... Wait, did, how come all my coins ready to collect? What's going on? Why are all my coins ready to collect? I just collected them. This is weird. Something's going on with my account, man. You saw that, right? None of these were ready to collect. I did this... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> these custom trades shouldn't be ready either. Because last night I did these and they take 24 hours to come back. So I have no idea what's going on. I actually want food. Uh, I'd, and it's only 600,000. But if I, I, I but uh, no, I'd rather have that because it's DNA and eventually I will hatch it uh, when we get the VIP building um, to what is it? we got to go through the super DNA production site and then we get the VIP. So in another two months, we'll get the VIP instant recovery. Oh, no. 
Damn it, it's all the way at the end. VIP instant hatchery. That's what we need. And that's why they put a last. Because it's something that everybody wants. And of course, they put a last. Um, I guess I'll collect my, my coin again. Look at that. See? See? Look, I already collected it from that. So, I mean, but everybody's ready again. So, I guess I'll just have to go through and collect everybody's DNA. Huh. That is really weird. Even the Indoraptor that I clicked on, or, or any of these dinosaurs that I clicked on, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing for me really to spend my coin on, though, which is a bit of a shame. But, uh, hey, it means that... Oh, hold on! <gasps> Ooh, collect the rewards! Yes! Oh, was it like five bucks and a lot of food? I should... Oh, and we got a code. We got a code. We got a code 19. Something's got the COVID. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, some of these dinosaurs, um, I don't know. I don't know how many hours it sped me up by, but uh, here we are. So let's do another code 19. What is it? It's an Apatosaurus. Ooh, fantastic. So, guys, you need to be active this weekend because we got a Brachostachosaurus uh, to collect. And, of course, because it's a tournament creature, it's highly likely and almost inevitable that it will get a hybrid. And if you haven't got it, it might take a while for you... Whoop, to unlock it again or for it to come round again. Uh, Ludia have been good with, you know, doing rotation, like, you know, the Clash of the Titans, which means that you can unlock a tournament creature that was in the past, which is good. A bit like they did with Jurassic Park Builder. Who remembers that fossil? And they did something similar. I can't remember what it was. It was like with the rescue DNA things. Um, they would do a cycle and then there was a new one. Um, and then that would add to the cycle roster. Oh my god. Oh yes, we did it. Uh, sorry, Michi. <laughs> Itchy everywhere. I got fleas. Uh, is that another? Oh, we're done. We're done. I was going to say, is it code 19 that means that I can just instantly collect all my coin again? That would be amazing. That would be an amazing glitch. But here we... Oh, it was, you know why? It was because it clocked over. Oh, it hasn't even clocked over yet. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, let's do Canada Day. What? What? Uh, any creature level 10 plus. Are you kidding me? Of course I need a level 10 creature. I don't think I could do with a not level 10 creature. Um... Huh. Does that mean if I go down? Oh, it's only to my level 10s. <laughs> I've lost all my level 1 Tijongasaurus. What a shame. So we may as well just do a full team of carnivores since there's two Apatosaurus and only one Concave and either. And they don't even... Oh, hold on. There's only two slots. Whoops. Oh, well, there you go. Indominus Rex versus Apatosaurus. The rematch. Ooh. Mm. I think we've won this. Even though we're a creature down and they do have a level 40 Concavenator and it can kill me in two hits. As long as we kill Concavenator, which we're going to do in the next turn. Apatosaurus has got 300 attack. I don't think it can do anything. So we're going to one, two. That does kill it. And then one reserve. We're pretty golden. Look at that hairstyle. Hold on. Look. Look what I can do. Hold on. I can bring back Emo James. Kind of. <laughs> Hold on. I used to have my fringe over this way. <laughs> It has been years, years since I've been able to pull off this or like do this hairstyle. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> uh, might as well just go for an all out four. Yeah, he's going to be dead anyway. Oh, he went for an all out attack. So is this going to be my new hairstyle? You see, so I've, I've got old young again. Like I've went young because of my hairstyle, but I've gotten older because of my facial hair. So it's, it's a mixed bag. At least, I don't know. Did I have my hair like that? Like going round? God knows. Anyway, lo, there we go. And the years get put onto him. <laughs> Ooh, it's all silky smooth. God. Wow. Who thought? I, I thought I'd never have hair this long again. <laughs> COVID you. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, okay, so, ooh, this is all carnivore. So we want to switch to Amphibos. Uh, we need some pretty decent ones here. Uh, so, Super Kool-Aid. Uh, Mastodonosaurus, which is actually one I use quite often for high-level plays. Big brain. Big brain plays. <laughs> oh, he went for one attack, so he's only got one block. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to go for three reserves here. This is quite tight. Ooh, I don't think you can kill me if you went for three. It might be close though. Okay, so he's got. He's got. Okay, I think I've just got. I've just got a. I'll, I'll block for two. So then he's got what four? Yeah, he's got four. So he can't kill me. Can't touch me. Come on, come on. There it is, three. 
Hmm. So he's got one block. So we have to go for three. So one, two kills him. Factor in the one. And then either way, if Super Kool Aid does die, he's had to go for like two attacks. He's had to go for three attacks out of his four. Leave him with. Oh, he's got five. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So one block. That's all right. That's all right. How much attack do we have? About the same. About the same. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I can kill... Pro I can kill Pro Stratosaurus. Oh, it's so close. Almost one hit. So, one, two kills it. Factor in the one. Now, he could have five. And his attack will be 900. So, one, two, three. And then, there we go. That's it. Done. Done and done. So, this is what I want to talk about. I put out a tweet yesterday. Because it got me thinking. Uh, it was just one of these things that I see, I see quite often. And if you're a YouTuber... Um, you, you'll go through it, definitely. And this is, well, it was about people saying they're taking breaks. So I see it all the time, whether it's on Twitter or, well, mainly it is on Twitter. <laughs> Gotta admit that people very rarely put up a video saying that they're gonna take a break and then don't take a break. But on Twitter, I'll see a lot of people saying, I need to take a break, I need to do this. And it's not anyone in particular, um, because I'm pretty sure everybody said it at one point or another. And yet, they don't take any break whatsoever. Why is that? Why do people say, I'm going to take a break and then consistently post content for five years? <laughs> um, and I got, because I, I, I don't know, I, I, I like to question things. I like to think. And it's not like I'm actually picking apart a person's psyche. But I'm just like, I'm trying to understand, like, why would you do that? Um, and I got into a conversation with Winnie. Oh god, this is gonna be a tough one. Ooh, ooh, this one's really bad uh, because of that Mastodonosaurus. Sorry, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. We'll go. For I could have attacked him for one and then just made sure he died in one or two. But anyway, so um, I think it's got to do with. I mean, burnout's a thing, right? Burnout's a thing. Um, even. Like, a couple of years ago, people didn't know what burnout was. I remember watching uh, a video on a YouTuber, and they were they were talking about burnout, but they didn't call it burnout. They were saying, uh, they were saying stuff like, oh, I don't know what it is. Like, I just don't feel like playing that those games anymore. But it's not like I have energy. Or I, you know, they were just, like, skipping around. It's because you burn out from it. Um, just to put in perspective how much of a new thing, I guess, this is for... Because YouTube's still early days. We haven't had somebody, like, live their entire life on YouTube. That hasn't happened yet. And even for me, I don't think it'll happen. Because I started YouTube when I was in high school. So I was, like, 11 or 12, I think it was. So even I haven't, let, like, had... I wasn't a baby, you know, where I was... You know, you got these parents that give their kids iPads just to shut them up. And they put on YouTube. So I, I haven't even been that stage. But I, I would say if... You know, I've lived quite a lot of my life on YouTube. And it was also uh, when you brought up a point and I mean, I, I think if you're a YouTuber and you've got up to a certain level of, you know, subscribers or views, viewership, whatever you want to call it, uh, basically that you've got an audience, um, you're probably a workaholic. And you you love and this is the thing right because burnout didn't exist really before it probably did it, it existed in all uh, lines of work but youtube is a very interesting creature because youtube is a hobby kind of like people or at least the good people what you should do is do youtube as something you enjoy not a money making thing so Back in the back in the day, or a regular job, you have these people that you know, regular people. They go to work. Then when they come home, oh, they're North America pack. Did we get anything good? No, of course not. You have people who would go to work, and then they would come home. They'd relax. They would do their hobby, which would relax them and get them to stop thinking about work. Now, YouTube is kind of a hobby, so if people didn't get burnt out from the hobby because it wasn't work. But when you, you know, you do YouTube as a hobby and then slowly it becomes work, um, you know, and in the good sense, it's not like, oh God, I don't, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, look at this. I'm having a conversation, doing this and then trying to like get my hair looking all right. <laughs> triple, triple, uh, oh God. What's it called? When you, you do like your, oh man, what's it? I'm blanking, I'm blanking. 
Uh, multitasking, yeah, d triple multitasking. <laughs> so you have these people that say they want to take a break, but then they're addicted to, you know, making content on YouTube. And also it's everybody, like human beings, we all want to have our voices heard. It's just in our nature, we're like social creatures and having a platform, this being YouTube, is that it's satisfying in its own way. Um, and also we like to be uh, praised. We like to be praised, as human beings, we like to be praised for when we're doing good things, we've done hard work. And when people say on social media, I'm going to take a break, uh, most of, or at least, you know, a lot of comments are, oh, you do so much hard work, take as long as you want. Um, uh, it's also, and I, I think that is part of it, um, like to get acknowledgement. Because if you've got uh, people posting content every day, um, you'll very rarely, you'll see, you know, comments of people, you know, enjoying the content, but they'll never say, wow, you work so hard. But it's only when people say, oh, I'm going to take a break. It's like, oh, you work. Then they get the, th wow, look at that hairstyle. What even is this? <laughs> but the trick to this, ooh, well, we've done one. We want to, uh, want to do another one. Let's do the legendary rumble if possible. Oh my God, two interrupted gen twos. Ooh. Uh, the trick is, this is it. So I remember, uh, oh God, wow, that is really tough, isn't it? Okay, let's, let's do that, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, the trick is to taking a break, right? This is the trick. Don't say you're taking a break and you'll do it. Or better yet, just uh, don't take like, okay, this is it. I'm going to take two weeks off. And because you'll, you'll take two days off from YouTube and you'll hate it. You'll be like, oh man, I want to do work. I feel bad. I feel bad that like, you know, I'm letting people down that uh, I, I'm doing nothing. If, if you're anything like me and you don't do anything productive in a day, you'll feel like you're wasted the day. That's how I feel. Like if I haven't, you know, uh, done my hobby. So if I haven't done Japanese, if I haven't worked out, if I haven't done content on YouTube, if I haven't painted any minis, if all I've done is sit on my ass and uh, watch, I don't know, TV or something like that, I will feel like the day's a write-off and I've wasted it and I'll feel like crap. That's how I will feel because I don't know. I just have to be doing something. I have to be creating something or I don't know. Maybe it's a fault with me. Probably more than likely it is, but, <laughs> but I'm a workaholic and I feel like that's, that's my, you know, and I think a lot of people in the YouTube sphere are workaholics and that's why they feel like this. That's why they feel like when they say, I'm going to take a break, then they put it on this pedestal. Now people are expecting it. They can't do it. And then they don't want to do it because then they're not doing any work anymore. Um, if I win this, this is a miracle, by the way. Just so you know. Uh, <laughs> mega plays. Mega big brain plays here. Um, I think that's... You can't give me one hit. I think, we, I think we've won. I'm just going to go all out. Um, but what I... I mean, what I've slowly been doing, and like I said, what I, what I noticed in people that say that they're going to take a break and then they, they disappear off YouTube for so long is not... For one... Okay, this, this is the problem with breaks. It, it's a ranty episode. Problem with breaks is you don't, you'll feel like letting people down. You won't do any work and you'll feel like crap because you haven't done any work. And um, I can't remember what the other point was I was going to say now. <laughs> your, your channel will die. You, like that, they're the main three things. Your channel will die. You'll be letting people down and you'll feel like crap because you're not doing any work because you're probably a workaholic. Uh, the trick is to do it in moderation, to slowly wean yourself off working. So have a day, like when you've done work all day, have the next day as a break. Now, I don't know about you, or at least if you're, oh my God. Ah! I don't know about you, or if you're a YouTuber and you've, um, you post every day, but I've been posting less frequently. Channel's doing fine. Like maybe if you took a week off or two weeks off, your channel might die. But if you take, you know, a, a day off here and there or two days off here and there, your channel will be all right. I, what I've noticed as well is that if as long as you have hobbies and like things that are different. So let's say you're like for me, your job is to look at a screen and play games all the time, or at least on the channel. Um, try and find ways or try and find hobbies that take you away from that. So, um, like, it's, but even in content, like, I, I was, what was I, reacting to my really old videos? That was great, I loved that. And there was a few, there was a lot of people that did also like that too. Um, 
So, you know, with other hobbies, do something different. So learn an instrument or learn a language or uh, do something physical, like working out or something like that. Uh, so these are all things that I'm doing. <laughs> Just like, I'm like, what else is different? In fact, I haven't actually played my piano in months, probably since the lockdown. Um, because the main reason that I would play my piano or learn to play a piano was to go to a piano lesson, to socialize with other people. Whereas my job, I don't really. Like, this isn't a social job. You sit down at a desk by yourself, and that's it. Um, your socialness, even like, I don't usually have a camera. Uh, so it is just literally me just playing games. Uh, so in my free time, in my, in my free time, um, I don't play games. Um, I mean, I play Jurassic World Alive, um, but I don't record that anymore. And I'm finding that way more enjoyable <laughs> because I don't enjoy it. Uh, recording, or at least I, I enjoy it, but then when it becomes, you know, recording it, I'm editing it, it's like, ugh. And now that I just do when I want to, that is so much better. Um, I'm gonna block the three here, I think, oh god, I haven't pay been paying attention. Good lord, who knows if I'm gonna win. If he has, like, one reserve, I've died. And he doesn't, so I might have won. It's close. Jeez, this is, oh no. This isn't good. I'm gonna have to go, if he blocks. Right, well, we lost, thank- so yeah, I mean, it was just, I, I don't know. I had no reason or way I was going with it. I just wanted to rant about it because it is a thing that I see quite often. And if you've, you know, if I'm not just the only YouTuber you, you watch, because I'm probably not, <laughs> um, you're probably, you may have seen it also on social media, other people posting about it, um, or he's saying that you need to take breaks. Um, it's a good thing to take a break. It really is. It's just, um, there's a lot of times that you you can't really. Uh, and I knew as soon as I put in those two attacks, I shouldn't have done that. I was like, I should have went all reserve. Uh, but, I mean, here we go. Let's see if we get, you know, all reserve. There you go, three blood. That's not too bad. Oh, he's got four now. He definitely can't kill me. Get in. Oh my God, this time I'm going to win. Oh, you kidding me? Now you don't attack? Now you don't attack? All right, fair enough. Well, I'm going to make sure that he does definitely go for like six attack. If he's going to take me out, he has to go for six attack. Yeah, because it's basically the same as last time. I had four block and he had six. Now I've got three block, he's got five. Um, okay, so now he could have like a huge amount of attacks. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. He only had one block. And there we have it. Oh my God, I haven't used my best creatures to take this. Oh God. So I have no amphibians now, uh, but we are into the final battle. We're going to get there. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to Brachiosaurus. I'm wondering if it's just going to be like from Jurassic World Alive. I feel like they're probably just going to bring that model in. Uh, oh God, yeah. Wow, It's this is it. Final showdown is Carnivore, Carnivore, Carnivore against Carnivore, Carnivore, Carnivore. I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's do it. Mm. God, it's been a ranty episode, hasn't it? There's a lot going on. And also, like, people might be wanting to take breaks more, more now because of everything that's happening in the world. And I don't blame them. It's hard to keep up with like content or uh, like a mindset when you've got, you know, stuff, the bad things going around in your head. Uh, and that's why people come to YouTube. It's like to get away from it. But I also think it's important to have conversations, but you can't really have conversations when you don't talk to anybody else. You don't, sorry, you don't see anybody else in person. Uh, if you are quarantining by yourself and you are a content creator, that's also really tough. Um, I'm going to go for that. I think he had one block. Ah, he bloody well did. Oh, but that's okay because he still does have one more hit. And he might not kill me. He might not. He has. <laughs> okay, Udon against two more Udons. Is it possible? I think so. So we go for one attack to kill him. One, two block. And then we have to go for three block here. Ooh, I think we've done it, but it's it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Three, six, nine. Oh yeah, man, that's not good. If I, I have to go for, I have to go for like six block in order to survive. And he's killed me. There you have it. He's gonna go for eight. Gonna go for eight. There it is. I think. Well, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, he's definitely killed me. There's no point. So, wow, that was bad. I think we've won this. Dies. Yeah. Well, against a team like that, of course you're gonna die. <laughs> Oh, one day. How many books is it? Oh, instead of 380, 345? 10% cooldown. Oh, Ludia, you are spoiling me. Hmm. 
I'm going to go for Pterodon, because Pterodon actually does die. Never mind. It does die in one hit. Ah, that's not good. Um... Oh, no, but I don't want to use, like, really two good creatures. I do have 13,000 bucks, though. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. There you go. Let's do it that way. So we can't... I can, I can feel free... I'm happy now, because I had two Interruptors to start with, and they died in, like, two hits. So I had to go for blocks. Whereas here, I can just rifle bat, just go for loads of reserves, because I've got 18,000 health. And he has to, even three, what's that, 7,000? It's probably like 12 or 13,000 damage with three hits. He still doesn't kill me. A Udon would die. A Udon would die in any circumstance here. But a Pachycanosaurus won't. Now, hopefully he goes for like five, because even that still won't kill me. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, so now we've got eight. Um, I'm going to go for four block, four reserves. Because four attack probably will kill me, but it means he's got nothing if he had to go for that eight. Seven means that I've definitely survived. And he goes for six, so one block. Not bad. Not bad. One block, even though we have terrible attack, his health isn't too great. So we can guarantee the kill. Three reserves. Oh! Oh, this is tough. This is tough. The highest. This, these battles, man, they get so ridiculous. So and now I'm fighting Interrupted Gen 2. Thank you, game, for putting that in the game. So now I can face it all the time. If the game wants to be super tough on me. So I'm just going to go for three reserves. Oh, so, sorry, three block, four reserves. Because um, I want him to go all out. I want him to go Super Saiyan times five million or whatever. Uh, did he have six? Yeah, I'm going to make sure that he, 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 the bot has to go for whatever it wants to. Or whatever it needs to. Ooh. It's going to have to go for seven, I think. Oh, it goes for the exact... You know, that's fine. I, I can't say that the bot cheated because it went for seven last time when it had eight. So here we go. We're in a really good position. We've got eight attacks and he's only got one uh, block. So there you go. And we can go for four reserves. And I'm pretty sure... There you have it. Woo! We won. We won it finally. Oh, I can get some uh, super raptor DNA. Woo. Oh. We can do it. We can do it. I'm just going to go eight. It doesn't even matter if you know blocks are four. Oh, only two block? Yeah! Yes, 42,000. Woohoo! Beautiful. Beautiful. And we get a spin on the prize. We'll hopefully win the pack. I think there's a high chance you can win the pack. Um, you know what? A T-Rex. That's good. I'll take a T-Rex any day. And I didn't accidentally click the... Wait, what? Did I not do the Clash of the Titans? Is it reset? Why am I only on two? Something's not- something's weird, something's glitched in the game, man. Unless it's restarted and I didn't get it. Huh, maybe, maybe. No restrictions, it's winter. Ooh, we could do this, we could win a silver. Let's- let's win- okay, let's win this silver pack, let's do this. So, uh... Da -da -da, da -da -da, it's- that's not a bad team to face up against. I quite like that. Yeah, a low level team, yay! <laughs> Good, because I have to do four of the bloody battles. Oh, also, yeah, I'm feeling at the moment that there's not really too much to, like, make content on. I want to... You know what I want to do? I want to get into live streaming. That's what I want to do. Um, I don't know if you guys watched... The Last of Us came out. Um, Pee Wee Didi did a live stream on it. Um, and it was quite nice just to, like sit down, watch a new game that had been released, or, like, and it got me thinking that, you know what, I I should do that, I should just, and the thing is, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Evolution has not updated in the slightest, and updates for that are now looking increasingly more unlikely, uh, and mods as well have kind of done what they could ever do, um, unless there's a breakthrough and they can make new dinosaurs, like, actually new dinosaurs, not turn an Indominus Rex into a Godzilla, uh, which is great, but I mean, once you've done that, you can't, you know, you kept, you keep the Godzilla, you change it to something else. Um, and I, I would like to live stream that, but also a lot of people have asked me if I'm going to play Horizon Zero Dawn 2 when it comes out. Uh, hopefully it's got a better title than that. <laughs> uh, but definitely, definitely. Oh, look, we're going to see how small the kangaroo is. Actually, you won't because it's on my side of the screen, so it looks bigger. Um, but yeah, I, I'll definitely play. If that's the goal, 
is to do a live stream for Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I'd love that. I'd love to do that. Because also, like, playing a game with your instant feedback is great. I love that. Uh, whenever I've done live streams in the past. And it's just a more relaxed atmosphere. So, I know a guy. I know a guy that can set it up. Or at least can help me <laughs> uh, set it up. So hopefully I can get in touch with him. And he'll be like, yeah, sure, you do this, this, and this. I mean, I want it to be better than my other live streams, which... I mean, they weren't bad. But I'd like them to be you know, a, a little bit more higher quality. They get the stream deck in there and get, you know... Uh, I do have a camera, like a decent... You know, not just like a webcam, full face cam. And I'd like to get that set up. I've got like the Elgato cam link thing you need for it. I just need to like connect it to a power source and all that jazz. We have the lighting. We have the green screen. We have the setup. We just don't have the willpower. <laughs> but that, I mean, that would be really cool. I, I, I enjoy, you know, what do you call it? Um, I enjoy playing a new game. I sitting down and playing it. And the editing is also nice um, because it's not, it's kind of, I'm just, I'm kind of going through it, not, you know, like staying on every scene thinking, do I cut this out? Do I keep that in? But usually when I've played the game and I go straight editing, I know which bits I need to edit. And that's really useful. Um, oh, we'll have to go for these guys. Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's go. Um, Oh yeah, we only have to we have to take this thing out first, and this thing's a, a bit of a pain. And it'll be really nice to just sit down and be like, okay, this is gonna be the video. Oh, we just survived. That was close. Oh lord. Um and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to being like, okay, this is gonna be the video, guys. Let's do it. No edits, and I can just sit down and just chat and play the game and be like, well, that's tonight's video as well. Uh, and that's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for that. I'm like that. Oh no, you bugger you. You blocked. Okay. Oh, this is tough. As long as we just get rid of this guy, the Amphasoon. Oh, Amphacoon. Amphacoon. <laughs> Sounds Japanese when you say it like that. Uh, Amphisan. Daijobu des. that all right, I think? Daijobu this car? Are you okay? <laughs> Something like that? I don't know. I only know a few sayings. And I should know a lot more. <laughs> Whoopush. Let's go. Let's go. Entolara. Uh, Entolarachus. I think. Is that, I'm probably not how you say it, but it's something similar. Bring out... Is it Sarcastodon? The bear? Oh no, it's Arctodus, who used to be a rare and is now a tournament, if I remember rightly. Or maybe Sarcastodon was that. Something, either way. Oh, look at him! Bear hug! Yeah! Yeah, we've done it! <laughs> Face away from the camera. Good bear. Okay, so the final battle. Final battle! Uh, hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's go for a Thalassachmilis and... I think that, that that's probably won it. Because once we take care of the Utatharium, then it's... They're saying that they do have 500 attack, even nerfed. Or at least the Andrew Sarkis does. Uh, and we, you know what? Let's put Gastornus in just in case. Now, put in Thalosmalus. Thalosmilius. Um, because I want him to switch out. Uh, but he doesn't, apparently. So, sod it. I'm going to go for three. Because if he didn't block, I could have killed him. That'll do. That'll do. Because Mammoth Theorem or whatever uh, will need that. I think that's an instant kill now. Is it? Oh, it's not. It's close, though. Luckily, I think it's just made it a two-hit kill. Otherwise, it would maybe need to be a three-hit kill? I don't know. Maybe that was a waste. It could have been a two-hit kill still. But either way, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, he went for a two! 1,200 attack. Okay, so one, two, and then three reserves, and that's it. Done. It's not! I forgot! Sorry, guys. Small brain plays here. <laughs> oh, he went for four! Oh, good lord. He's doing his damnedest to kill me. But Sonic, he's not dying. I'm going for four blocks, making sure I survive, and I'm pretty sure two hits can kill him. No, it can't, but... Even if it doesn't kill him, and he does go for full block, um, and which he doesn't even have anyway, yeah, we've won. I was going to say, Gastonus could easily kill him. Gaston. Or is it Phosphoracus? Phosphoracus could kill him. 
And there you have it. So what is in the silver pack? Silver rewards, coin, food, which I guess I kind of need. Um, because we need like we got so I mean, we, we there's always food. There's always a need for food. We've got so many creatures that we need to level up. And the last one that we can do, or at least legitimately, because stockholders is impossible, but this is one battle, is this. Um is it doable though? I think it might be. Oh god, eight eight thousand attack? What? Seventeen thousand health? Bruh, bruh. <laughs> what? What? That's impossible. That's impossible. Nah. There's no way. I have to use my best creatures. Yeah, I'm not I'm not buying you down back. I think that'll do. Um we'll collect all our DNA. Ooh, yes! Another 40 odd super raptor DNA. We also have a stego or mono stegotops ready to buy as well. Um, we're getting close. I'm just going through my tournament creatures. That's what I just got to go through them because they take like a week to get. And I don't want to spend thousands of thousands of bucks getting them. And once they're all out of the way, then, then we can start really processing some DNA. Um, there's probably a lot of creatures that I can just look through and sell. Um, I'm also kind of, I also want to look through um, all of my dinosaurs and make sure that none of them have the evolution rewards to get that there, there should be a way for me to check i'm so sorry if anybody's got like epilepsy i, I apologize i just need to check aha there you go a good couple of hundred bucks there what was it 100 bucks uh 100 bucks uh so it's 200 bucks and 600 DNA, as well as a lot of food but anyway guys we're gonna wrap it up here hope you enjoyed this video uh we talked about a lot <laughs> but anyway guys until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.